preaching the only relevant gospel message for today's American society and it, under three banners God hates fags therefore God hates America therefore America is doomed yeah baby that's the stuff right there you hear me talking that's the stuff you know where he's from the Department of Veteran Affairs that's the stuff bro how do you think the argument's going on in there right now? How do I think? How do you think Martin's Oh, going snap! On? That place, the Lord Jesus Christ has entered upon the scene in there, and the shit's for rizzle. The shit's getting real up in there right now. And what they're saying is, you want me to tell you what they're saying? I made you Peckerwoods, and I gave you some clear, simple instructions. Obey God, obey the laws of man, and I put that First Amendment in place for one reason, Hello, one reason and one reason only, so that my servants can come out on these streets and preach this gospel, the beginning and ending of it. What you dummies do otherwise with the First Amendment is irrelevant. In fact, it's going to get you in a lot of trouble if you don't miss it. The only legitimate purpose, the only real reason the First Amendment was enacted was so my gospel preachers could be on these streets. That's what's going on. And they're, and they're swinging to that rhythm because they absolutely believe that. You know why I know they believe that? that? They took an oath. They raised their hand to God and they say, said, I solemnly swear by God that I will uphold and defend the Constitution. And the only important thing that makes all the rest of it irrelevant, if this don't work, is the First Amendment. That's what they're saying. And they're saying, and by the way, um, that crybaby bitch, Schneider, ain't got shit for a case. They're saying that too. But they're, you know, they're prettying it up a little bit. They're not calling him a crybaby bitch. And they ain't saying he ain't got shit for a case. They're saying his case is a loser.